Okay, what I'm going to do here is a Photoshop tutorial on doing a basic makeover. Um, and I don't want to get too involved because she starts off really pretty. Basically what I did is I did a search on the internet for no makeup and this lady came up and I'm hoping it's okay if I use her picture. Um, anyway, what I want to do is I want to start off by trying to improve the basic. And like I said, she's already pretty so I don't have to do too much. But I'm going to use uh, the the healing brush and you see the little crow's feet here. I personally like you know laugh lines and crow's feet but people tend to want them off when they have a portrait done or something. So what I do, see how easy that was? I'm going to undo that. I just click out here somewhere where there's texture similar to the, what I'm trying to cover and then I kind of paint over the area that I want to adjust and sometimes I'll hit it a few times and you know if I see a spot up here like a a mole or a blemish or something sometimes I'll try to pick those out as well um, now the other thing is sometimes these places under the eyes people will want to cover with makeup well since we're doing a virtual makeup um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cover some of that and that doesn't quite work so I'm gonna choose a place closer to what I'm doing take out that little blemish here and then I'm gonna also kind of go back and forth like this. You notice I kind of don't do it in a straight line, I go back and forth and that kind of helps the things blend a little bit. Um, you don't want to do it in a straight line because it kind of um, shows a little more if you do it that way. Okay, so I've got one eye done. I'm going to go here to the, do the other eye and kind of take out, it helps take out the, the appearance of puffiness. All right. And I'm going to go over here and adjust the little crow's foot on this side here. Okay, so I hope that's okay. And I'll just go up here and kind of cover up some of these little spots. And sometimes you'll get a line across. Um, that could be something from the film. It could be a scar. It could be anything. And you'll see that I, I kind of don't ever go in a straight line or just back and forth. Sometimes I'll just go all over. And again, that kind of helps things blend together. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here, and she's got a real fresh look. Sometimes things like moles I'll even take out, not because they're not attractive, but because sometimes it distracts the viewer to they see those things in a picture. We'll deal with the background later. Um, so the next thing I want to do is start to try to just fill in some extras here. I'm not sure how this will work, but I'm going to try to use the clone tool and maybe try to see if I can extend her hair a little bit. So I'm going to click on her clone tool and click down here. And then maybe start painting up here a little bit and along her face. Okay, and then I'll just kind of go down like this. And I'm kind of breaking one of the cardinal rules of um, photo editing and that is I'm working on the original layer really what I would have done if I was doing this professional is I would have copied the layer and done modifications on other pieces um, so now I've got some basic hair there I can do a copy and paste and you can't see it here but when I do a flip you can kinda get an idea of what I was trying to go for here and I'll try to position this to where it looks like it should be. Sometimes they don't fit very well. But I'll try to get to where her neck meets. And then I hit enter. And then I'll use my eraser tool to kind of try to blend some of this in. And I might have to come in a little bit more. Alright. And so basically you'll get a a little bit of a an unusual look if you're not careful and something you can do is drop the transparency a little bit the opacity so that you can kinda of see how far out you wanna actually erase alright and I usually erase a little bit and then start again let, unclick and then click again and the reason is you know if you accidentally do something like that you just undo and you just undo the last step that you've done alright and so I'm just gonna soften this up a little bit probably too much there see exactly what I just did alright and I don't have to get 
too detailed. You see where I'm going with this. I would spend a lot more time if I was doing this, you know, professionally. And then I drink, bring my opacity back up. All right, and so she's got a little bit more hair. You can go and if you really want to get detailed, go into her teeth. Um, image. Actually, what I would do first is I would use my lasso tool to go around the teeth as much as possible because I'm going to try to select out just the teeth and sometimes the lips and the skin around this area will have the same hue. So what I want to do is image adjustments replace color. Whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. I'm going to merge those layers down and I'm going to do image adjustments replace color and I'm going to click in the color area and see if I click in a different spot it chooses a different piece over here. So I'm going to click in the white area and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to kind of drag around. What I'm trying to do is select all of the teeth colors. Alright and some of them you know there's has yellow pieces and stuff some of that's just JPEG artifacts and stuff left over but I want to get as much of the teeth area and as little as the lips and gums as possible all right, maybe back in this area here. And then I'm going to bring up my lightness and drop my saturation, maybe. Might even drop my lightness back down and just play with the saturation. See how it changes a little bit? I'll do that. It looks a little more natural. And then I'm going to deselect and then I'm going to fit it back on the screen. Okay, so I have a fresh clean picture here and what I want to do now is take the hair here, it's kind of parted, and I can either click and erase the part or even, you know, you can see that the, the root color is a little bit different. I can even kind of go in and color the roots and, you know, I don't, I don't mind it, um, but again, portraits people get, tend to focus on a lot so I'm going to go ahead and color those in here sometimes you'll have to play with this a little bit to get things to blend correctly alright and I think that's probably good Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we're now sitting here at, I don't want to say a finished picture because we haven't done any virtual makeup yet, but, you know, we've adjusted some hair, we've taken some blemishes off, we've fixed some little crow's feet and some r lines under the eyes and whitened the teeth a little bit and, you know, fixed a little bit of the roots. Um, so right now, what I want to do is I'm going to show you what we started with. First, look at the natural look and now if we go to revert this is the picture we started with